that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, for this project I'll be using this really large empty box that I have at home And I'm going to be starting off by cutting out the larger flaps from the box And I'll be left with just these two flaps the ones that I cut out will be added to the top and to the bottom, just to make it stronger. Because the flaps are short, I'm going to be cutting foam boards to add to it and this is going to make it wider so it will meet in the middle if you're new to my channel it's so great to have you here now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be painting the inside. And I'm using a white rust -Oleum paint. This is what it looks like. Now the part that I left out is going to be covered with white foam board. But before that, I'm going to glue down the flaps so that they stay in place. All the rough edges are going to be covered with white duct tape. These are the spray paints that I'll be using for the hydro dipping. So for the hydro dipping, all you're going to need is a bowl of water and colors of spray paints depending on what colors that you want to appear on your design. This should be done in a well-ventilated area, so I took mine outside. And I'm going for a marble look. So I'm not using any particular technique here. All I'm doing is just spray painting lots of colors into the water. A lot of people use this technique and create lovely designs using other things in the paints like stirring sticks just to create some lines or some illusion of some designs but I'm just keeping it simple I'm just making something that looks like marble with a lot of red this is the glass that I'm going to be starting off with and I got this from the Dollar Tree so all I'm going to do is dip it and turn it as it is inside the water so it can get the paint and then pull it out and then I'm using a blow dryer to dry off the water. And remember to use the cold setting on the blow dryer to dry off the water. I left it again for about an hour and then I covered it up with Mod Podge. This serves as a protective layer for the colors and to also give it a nice shine. I'm also going to be dipping this chopping mats that I got from the Dollar Tree. And the color that came out on the vase was not the way I wanted because it was looking pink so I added more red and more gold. Now for the mat, I just placed it flat into the water making sure it touches the paint and then I took it out. And I kept adding more spray paint after I was done with each chopping mat. Like I said earlier, I want a lot of red to appear in the final design so I'm going to be using a lot of red spray paint. This time around, I'm using paper towels to dry off the water from the chopping mat. And I'm doing this gently so that I don't scratch off the paint. This was completely dry in about 30 minutes. Compared to the phase that took longer, this took a shorter drying time. Now I'm going to be gluing the chopping mats onto the board that I had attached to the boxes.
The mat that I used at the bottom looks like a continuing piece for the top. It looks like it was just all one piece glued onto the board. Now I wasn't so lucky for the design to look continuous on the next board, but that's okay because then the design looks abstract. I measured and cut two foam boards to use as partitions inside the box and covered the rough edges with white duct tape. I also covered this parts here with white duct tape. Now I'm going to be gluing the partitions inside the box. But before then, I'm going to measure and draw lines inside to guide me as I glue in the partitions. Now I want something really stylish for the handles, so I'll be using this wooden plaque that I got from Walmart. And what I did was to spray paint it silver, cut it into two using the saw that I have at home. And then I cover them up using this self-adhesive diamond wrap that I got from the Dollar Tree. So because of the size of the semicircle, I used one diamond wrap for each. This is what they look like. Now to attach them to the doors, I'll be using toy blocks and using two, gluing them together. This will give me a little bit of height before I glue on the handles that will be on the doors. And now I'm going to be using an E6000 glue, which is a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun to attach the toy blocks to the doors and then to attach the handles to the toy blocks. I drew a circle behind the diamond wrap and then cut it into two and I'm going to use these to add to the design. I'm also going to be using the excess to decorate the corners. To keep the doors in place after they're closed, I'll be using Velcro. They're self-adhesive, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to be attaching them using a hot glue gun. And I'm using two dots of the Velcro at the top per door. They come in a pair, but it's easier to put the second side of it on top of the first side and then apply hot glue on top of it and then pressing the door down so that the second side of the Velcro will be attached to the door. I'm going to add Mod Podge on top of the colors to seal it in and this is a protective layer and it's also going to give it a glossy finish. I'm applying Mod Podge to the entire outer box as well. To add a little bit of height to the storage, I'll be attaching this cute decorative legs that I got online at the bottom and the link for this legs will be in the description box below. This is the final look and I love the abstract design that looks like red marble. This is how I have little items placed inside and now on the right, I decided to add a small shelf there. 
This is a really unique storage that I made for myself and I am so happy with the results. I chose red to be the main color for this hydro dipping design and you can use any other color of your choice. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like and share it with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.